it's T-Dog Reviews, and after the first time in quite a while, I'm going to be making another big manga debate video. Because this is one of my most popular video series on my channel, and you know, originally I was taking a little bit of a break from making these types of videos because it's kind of formulaic. But I'm going to try to constantly evolve the format of these videos, I'm going to try to make it better and better. And overall, I think it's just going to be a really good time and probably a barrel of laughs. But today's hoodie of the week is none other than Super Saiyan Go On. And for the drink of the video, we of course have the Arizona RX Energy Drink. You know, this is a classic among the manga community, so you really can't go wrong with this one. Now, based on the title of the video and the thumbnail of the video, you've probably already come to the conclusion that this episode is going to be Dragon Ball versus Naruto, two behemoths amongst the shonen genre. And in this video, Dragon Ball and Naruto are going to be put head to head, and we're going to see who's going to win the very exclusive manga debate trophy. So jumping right into it, the first category of this episode is going to be the story. Now starting off with Naruto, I think Naruto has a pretty great story. You know, it's about this kid named Naruto who has a demon fox named Kurama inside of him. He starts off as being kind of an outcast, and he later works his way up to being the Hokage of his village. And after the first 27 volumes, there's a time skip, it turns into Shippuden, and the series mainly becomes about Naruto reuniting with his best friend slash best bro, Sasuke Uchiha. Now on the other side of things with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball also has a really classic story. It's about this girl named Bulma who goes around, she's trying to find the seven Dragon Balls. She meets this kid named Goku, and together they track down the seven Dragon Balls. Because once you obtain all seven Dragon Balls, you can make any wish you want. So, obviously, it's pretty valuable to have all of them. Now, the first part of Dragon Ball is mainly a martial arts comedy manga where they fight in tournaments, they fight some bad guys, and overall, it's just a lot of fun. But after the first 16 volumes, there's, of course, a time skip. The series goes to Dragon Ball Z, and this is where things really get crazy. It's mainly about big superpower fights, big crazy action stuff, big power-ups, and it's just crazy. Now even though Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z have two very distinct styles and tones to them, they're both very enjoyable and I really love the entire series. All 42 volumes of Dragon Ball are incredible. But the main reason why this story is so good is mainly in the execution. I think the actual story itself is a little basic, but overall, the execution hits the nail on the head pretty much all the time. But Naruto does have a more distinct story, it has more clear character goals, and it has more of a clear end goal for the entire series. So, because of that, I'm gonna have to give the story rounds none other than Naruto. Now, I should probably mention that I'm not including Dragon Ball Super or Boruto in this video. Maybe if I get around to reading those at a later point, I'll do another video on that. But overall, I'm just talking about the original 42 volume run of Dragon Ball and the 72 volume run of Naruto. So the second category of this episode is going to be none other than the entertainment. Because I think a lot of the times people kind of look at the objective, you know, story factors and artwork factors. But they don't always just look at the entertainment, and I think that's really important. I think that a story could be incredibly nuanced or thematic or mature. But if it's boring, it doesn't really amount to much, so I think entertainment is definitely a very large factor of what makes a manga great. Now, the first 48 volumes of Naruto are pretty gosh dang entertaining. I mean, yeah, there are a few parts that are kind of boring, but overall, it just really strikes the nail on the head over and over again for the most part. Maybe sometimes the hammer kind of slips and it doesn't hit the nail. But overall, I mean, this series really just goes hard. But if you watch my full series manga review on Naruto, you probably know my thoughts on the last third of Naruto, and holy crap. I mean, to sum it up, the last third of Naruto is basically one big snooze fest with a lot of cool moments in there. And even though there's a lot of promise in the last third of Naruto, it definitely does drag on a lot. 
and it's really not very entertaining for the most part. On the other side of things though, with Dragon Ball, this series really never skips a beat. I mean, even at the lowest points in Dragon Ball, it's still heavily entertaining, and even in the Frieza arc, which is probably the slowest arc in all of Dragon Ball, I never really found myself super bored during this manga. I definitely think that there were a few points where things could have been a little faster, but overall, I mean, the pacing in the manga is just incredible. And I know anime-only watchers might be a little confused when I say that, because the pacing in the Dragon Ball anime is known for being pretty horrendous. But overall, I think most of the pacing in Dragon Ball is better than the majority of the pacing in Naruto, and of course this makes the manga more entertaining. And I know that some people like to hate on the Majin Buu arc, and some people are like, oh, the Majin Buu arc is the worst part in Dragon Ball. But even the Majin Buu arc is more entertaining than anything in the last third of Naruto. Now, of course I love both Dragon Ball and Naruto, but come on, I mean this category easily goes to Dragon Ball. So currently we have one point for Naruto, one point for Dragon Ball, and we're going into the final tie-breaking category that will decide who gets to bring home the big home run manga debate trophy. And of course this category is gonna have to be the artwork. Now this category is really tough, because even though I already know the winner of this manga debate episode, this category really has me scratching my head. I mean the artwork in Naruto is so good. But then we have Dragon Ball, and the artwork in Dragon Ball is arguably even better. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I do prefer the character designs in Naruto, but overall I think the backgrounds, the paneling, the layouts would have to go to Dragon Ball. So a lot of you at home are probably sitting on the edges of your seats wondering who is going to win this category. And come on guys, it's Dragon Ball. And no hard feelings to Naruto, I mean Naruto is a classic series, and it's a series that I'll probably always like. And honestly, if I was basing this episode off of the anime, I'd probably give this one to Naruto just because of how poor the pacing is in the Dragon Ball Z anime. But of course the series is called Manga Debate for a reason because it's about manga. So as a lot of you have probably suspected by now, the winner of this episode, Naruto vs. Dragon Ball, is gonna be none other than the GOAT itself, Dragon Ball. Now honestly, I think the biggest reason why I prefer Dragon Ball over Naruto would have to be the entertainment. I mean, Naruto is pretty gosh dang entertaining, but overall, I mean, there are a lot of points in Naruto where I just wasn't super interested in what was going on, and there were some points that I felt a little bored during the manga, but overall with Dragon Ball, there were very few dull moments in the series. So with the third round concluded, you guys know what that means, Dragon Ball has officially won the T-Dog approved manga debate trophy. Overall, this might be a very controversial episode of manga debate, because both these series are very beloved amongst the manga community. And I think a lot of people kind of underappreciate Dragon Ball sometimes, and they kind of go like, oh, it's only good because of the nostalgia, it's only good because of the crazy fights or how influential it is. And honestly, that's just not true at all. I mean, obviously it's also good because of those reasons, but Dragon Ball is really just an incredible manga. And on the other side of things with Naruto, I mean, even though Naruto did lose this episode, it did get second place out of two places. So I think that's pretty noteworthy, so it's gonna get the exclusive Jiraiya Frog Trophy. Anyways, that about wraps it up for this video. I greatly appreciate you guys watching this one. I really want to do some more manga debate videos, but I don't really want to do them too much because these videos are pretty similar. So I'm probably gonna wait a little bit to do another one, but drop your suggestions in the comments below because I'd love to make some more of these. Anyways, with all that being said and done, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe, drop a comment, slap that notification bell, you know, all the usual things, and I will see you guys in the next video.